This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and we love making this show available to you free of charge. If you'd like to help us keep it that way, make a contribution to our Karma Jar or become a show sponsor. To learn more, visit our website. I recently received an email from a viewer asking if I would make a buttermilk pie. Well, here it is. This is a classic American dessert from the South, and it's much like a custard pie, but instead of regular milk, it uses buttermilk, and that gives it a wonderful flavor and a little bit creamier texture than custard pie. I want to start by making my crust. Now this is a crust that I'm actually going to pat out in the pan, so no need to get your rolling pin out. I'll start by measuring out my flour. I need one and a half cups. And I'm going to place that in a bowl. And then two teaspoons of sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to take my little whisk and whisk that together. We want to make sure that the sugar and the salt gets mixed through that flour. Now here's where it gets interesting. Instead of butter, I'm going to be using canola oil. And that's a real healthy oil, and I've got a half a cup of that. I'm going to pour that into my flour, along with three tablespoons of milk. I'm going to take my rubber spatula, and I'm going to start bringing those ingredients together. Now this still is a pie crust, and with pie crust, you do want to make sure that you don't over mix. Um, too much because we want it to be still nice and tender. So I'm just going to kind of turn this around in the bowl. And now once it comes into a ball, I'm done mixing it. And I've got out my nine inch pie pan. I'm just going to put the dough right into the pan. And now all we do is just start pressing it out. One of the things I like about this dough is it's super easy to put together and it's really forgiving. Rolling things out can sometimes be very intimidating to people. And as I pat, I just kind of keep turning the pan. This is really a great pie dough to start kids with because it's very easy to put together and they can just pat it out almost like clay. Now you can see I'm starting to push the pastry up the sides of the pan, making sure that I have a nice thin layer across the bottom. And you really want to push those sides into the pan because we want to make sure that it, it really has a nice edge to it. And it also, as you can see, pushes that dough up because that's how we're going to make our little crimp at the top. And then many times I go along with my thumb and just continue to press all the way around the sides. Now, if you find like this area has a lot more pastry than say this area, I'm just gonna take a piece of it and sort of paste it over here. And with this dough, you can totally do that. Now, if you want, you can leave the sides kind of uneven and rustic like this, if you like. Or if you want, you can kind of smooth them out and then pinch them together to make a crimp. And I just take my two fingers, my two index fingers, and kind of press together. It makes a little crimp, just like that. And I'm going to place the crust in the refrigerator while I get the filling ready. Now for this filling, I need to use a mixer. You can either use a hand mixer or a standing mixer. And I've taken a, one stick of butter, which is a half a cup, out of the refrigerator. I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise twice, and then run my knife through it to make some smaller cubes like this. And I'll pop that into my mixing bowl, along with a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm going to cream the butter and sugar for about two minutes. Now, while the mixture is on a slow speed, I'm going to sprinkle in three tablespoons of flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, three eggs that I'm going to add just one at a time, two teaspoons of vanilla, 
And now comes our buttermilk. Now, if you're fortunate to live somewhere where you can get buttermilk, make sure you do shake it up real well before you measure it out. We're gonna be using one cup. Now, if you live where it's difficult to get buttermilk, you can certainly make it, and here's how you would do it. You would get out your one cup measuring cup and then put in a tablespoon of either white vinegar or lemon juice. And then you would take your regular milk and fill it up until you hit the one cup mark. And then I'll take the buttermilk, I'm just gonna slowly stream it into the mixing bowl. What we're doing now is we wanna loosen up that butter and sugar mixture. And if you do it nice and slow, it comes together real well. It looks like cake batter. Now with a rubber spatula, I'm just gonna run it along the sides and bottom of the buttermilk filling. Now it should be totally smooth. Now I'm ready to fill my pie shell. I've got a rimmed baking sheet and I'm gonna put the shell on top of that. The reason I do this is because this is such a liquidy filling, it's sometimes hard to get it into the oven without it spilling over and so this kind of keeps it safe. And I'm gonna take the filling, I'm just gonna pour it right in. You can see how nice and smooth it is. And it fills that crust beautifully. And then I'll just take the back of my rubber spatula and just kind of pat that, just so that's got a nice smooth top. Now I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. This is gonna go in the oven for 10 minutes at that temperature. And then at that time, I'm gonna reduce it down to 350 degrees and let it bake for an additional 40 minutes. While the pie is baking, I wanted to take just a moment to tell you about our badge program that we have going on at the network. This is something that we've designed just for our viewers around the world, and here's how it works. We've designed a whole bunch of beautiful badges that you can earn by doing things that you learn here on our podcast. So for example, if you're into baking and you want to try making this buttermilk pie, all you'd have to do is take a photo or send me a video clip of it, and I would send you the slide slice of pie badge. These are really fun things to collect and it's a great way for you to see all the great things that you're learning from our network. So just go to our website and all the information will be there for you. Now when the pie comes out of the oven, you're gonna see it's nice and brown on the top. But we do wanna make sure that the filling is cooked all the way through. So take a non-serrated knife and you're just gonna poke that right into the center. And when it comes out, it should come out totally clear like this. And now I'm gonna take the pie and place it on a cooling rack and let it cool until it gets to room temperature. And I just wanted to show you how beautifully golden brown the crust is. You can even see through the pie dish that it's browned nicely. And that's going to give us a nice crunchy crust when we cut into this pie. Now, if you want to give the buttermilk pie a try at home, just go to our website and go to the Sweet World show notes and I'll have it there. Now, don't forget to join us on Facebook. We'd love to see you there. In fact, you get a badge if you join us on Facebook. And of course, if you have any questions or any more great ideas, for me, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.